This is Lance, and I'm back with a new video. So we have this 2024 Chevy Silverado. Blue with a beautiful black. With the ZRT piano black finish with bows with the cluster. This thing is dope. It has the Bose package, which has the dash speaker and it has the door speakers. And then it also has the rear speaker back here, just like you would normally see in every Chevy setup. But this is a very good package, the way I like it. It has everything you could think of. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're going to do a full audio upgrade, upgrade in this thing. What I mean by full audio upgrade is we're gonna upgrade the new speakers and the dash. We're gonna do some sound editing. We're gonna do the doors and the floors. I pull this back in apart and get that all squared away. So we're just gonna put the amps back here in the back. So we're gonna do a Audison SR5.100, bass knob, sound in, some Morel front speakers, some Vert 2 602s, and some Hertz 10s down firing in a box. That box will be courtesy of Auto Automotive Entertainment in Huntington Beach, which is located in the same location I am. I don't do the box, but the box is gonna turn out dope. Uh, so what we're gonna do is break this car down first, get it all torn apart, um, which you really don't need to see all that, but we're gonna break it down, and make it so we can get to the floors and get the sound ending in, and we can do everything in this truck right away. So stay tuned, uh, step, little steps, break it down. We're gonna take out this, this seat here. We're obviously gonna take this down. And then we're gonna obviously take this back section out like the other trucks are, and then we're gonna move forward. So stay tuned. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to the channel. This truck is beautiful and pretty much untouched so we're gonna make it look good make it sound good so we pulled the interior out of this truck now we got to do some sound editing yeah it's a part we're gonna sound it in the back here we got to get rid of that rattle too not that you can hear it in there but we got to get rid of that somehow stay tuned
So we got the floors all wrapped up. Uh, GoPro went a little dead on me. But as you can see, we got the floor, the, the matting on the back wall. We still got to do the doors. We still got some speakers to do. We got to run some wires. But uh, it's getting there. We still got to put a little bit here. You know, not that it matters. And then I got to figure out this. I'm going to have to put some foam under here just so it doesn't rattle. You know, some um, acoustic foam. We'll figure that out too. But uh, yeah, it's looking good. Time to start working on these too. got the um, base knob in so we ran the base knob to here so when that panel snaps on you actually has more room so the panel you want it as far back as possible you know so if you look at it there's actually it's really super tight here so the base knobs here the customer can actually use it whenever you want so all I gotta do is snap this panel back on there's a screw and then this panel snaps on after and basically it's done on the center console and everything you ran through tractor harnesses down here as you can see, all the wires ran that way for the sub knob. That's really the only thing that ran up front, the sub knob on this side anyway. Everything's going here, and we got the amp rack that's pretty much bolted in. Um, we got to put a brace up here so it tightens up. But that, that's it. Once we put the amps on there, we can actually put the seat back in because that wires all the wires are ran. We also ran wires for, uh, he's got dash cam front and rear. So we got to put that in. And that's not complicated. It's just gonna wind up like this way and go back that way and wind up over there. It's because we still gotta take all that apart anyway. So we got a little bit of sound ending on the doors for the back, for, just for the back speaker. So he's gonna stick with stock ones, and then we'll go there. So we got the wiring ran, we got the panel mounted, like I said before. And we got all the wires ran through here, all through the loom. We got the grommets drilled right here with some silicone. Just in case. And we got wires. Ran out of the truck. Zip tied here. So we still got a bunch of stuff to do. We got wires to run, speakers to put in, and get this thing together. So we'll get some speakers mounted, some sound editing on the door, and we should be uh, really close. Uh, we also got the camera, the dash cam put in. So we're gonna put this thing back together and Get three of this car and we did some sound editing here on the doors uh, we put some tape on here we still got to do that door uh, the amps are pretty much in they do make sound uh, it still needs to be cleaned up quite a bit it's a mess but when we're all said and done this will be all nice and tight and cleaned up but we also got to double check to make sure everything works right the back doors are in we got the tweeters in we still got to put the dash back together tweeters are in the factory location and we made a custom, or I should say a simple, mount for the battery, for the for the fuses right here. So now he can get to each individual fuse here. We made a plastic bracket that goes there. Uh, so we just gotta um, go through it. We had to fix some all-pass filters when we did a setup, but uh, we still got some tuning to do, some inputs to change, and a lot of things to do. But we gotta put the doors back together, and then tomorrow we get the tuning and put the box in and put the car back together. That would be day four. And uh, the car should be good to go by then. So stay tuned for the next day four. And everything's wrapped up here. We just got to, the amps are mounted to the panel. Still got those back panels. We got the sub box tuned and ready to go. We just got to put the artwork on it. Um, and we should be a wrap. Uh, the car tuned really well, came out really nice. The base is solid. Everything's really dialed in. So I'll give you a quick play and hopefully the customer will come by and get his reaction. So the truck's a wrap, the sub box is in, we got it mounted. He elected to go with the ZR2 logos with the Chevy bow tie in the front, which is pretty tight. And the car really sounds good. He's got good bass. And all we gotta do is play a little bit of tunes here. <laughs> 